What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. Now, what we're going to be discussing is about always being a student to the game, no matter what that game is. So whether it be sports or business or relationships, whatever, you should never, ever, ever be done learning or ever get to a point where you think you know it all and you can't learn anything. You see it all the time where people like for example, the the biggest argument in the fitness industry now is probably IIFYM versus only eating clean. And again, I don't even know what clean, what they mean by clean. I mean, do they wash it? <laughs> no, by clean they mean micronutrient dense foods and that they will only eat micronutrient dense foods. And then IIFYM are like, well, that is just stupid and it is, constant battles between the two and the whole point is about always being a student to the game you should never ever stop learning just it's the same with powerlifting you should never ever get to a point where you don't think you can improve your technique or you don't think that trying out this new technique might actually be better so for example i have pulled conventional my whole life always have and i have hit the biggest numbers i feel strongest at conventional but that doesn't mean I am not willing to try sumo in the future to see if it's a stronger position I am not that cocky that I I think conventional only is the way to do it or for example personally I believe you should be in an intermediate program until you are squatting well over 600 pounds right but the thing is is that I think that someone up to the squat of a 600 pound squat should be on some form of linear progression. However, I am not willing, I am willing to accept that maybe if new data comes out and looking at certain things, that actually maybe over a 500 pound squat, maybe linear progression um, might have to be backed off a little bit and maybe do a lot more of DUP, daily undulating periodization. The point I'm trying to make is, is that just because you are confident in what you do and you believe in what you do doesn't mean you shouldn't be willing to learn and willing to accept do you know what actually what i've done so far has worked and i believe what i do does will work for in future however because of this new study or because of this new data i am actually going to try this and be open to see if it works now you could try and it might not necessarily work out the way you wanted to but that is fine you just go back to doing what you're doing but you should never be just hell-bent on one decision and never be willing to actually allow yourself to try something else for improvement. Because at the end of the day, there are world champions in every single given sport that all do different things. Yeah, I mean, for example, the Lily Bridges, they train a lot different to... BBSM, Boss Barbell Strength Method, that is a much different program to the Lily Bridges. However, Dan Green and the Lily Bridges are all on top of their field at their given weight class, right? Do you see where I'm coming from? So although they do two very different approaches, both of them have worked. Now, the point I'm trying to make is, is that there, there's not one size fits all, therefore you should never, ever be so cocky and arrogant as to you never listen to anyone or you will never take anyone else's advice or you're never willing to try anything new because you get to that point you will become stagnant and it is not going to benefit you and your own arrogance will end up just destroying you and it's not going to go well. So keep in mind you should always, always, always be willing to learn, willing to listen to others allow others to put their viewpoint across you don't have to always agree with them but allow them to put your viewpoint across take it into mind and be willing to attempt and try new things because i promise you no matter what your field is there will always be someone that has a little bit more knowledge than you and that person has a little bit more knowledge than you can pass on that little bit more knowledge which can help you in business and personal training and working out, in relationships, in almost any field you could possibly think of. Okay, so hope you found this video informative, guys. 
I just voiced over some training footage. This was Friday's workout. It was a pretty hard workout. It went well. This is pretty much the end of week one. There was one bounce session left. And just really looking forward to getting over the 700 kilo total. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoy these style of videos, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Go ham on the thumbs up, guys. And as always, I will see you next time. Would you ever forget anything you know? Take a chance to step outside and